Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm going to go through a log file of Side Slip versus Paul Heaver. Paul is having a prototype with auto thrusters, Blue with fire control systems, Miranda with a twin laser turret, and a Gold with twin laser turret. Side Slip has Marique Steel with Predator and Advanced Targeting Computer, Juno with Accuracy Corrector, Engine Cluster, BI, and then Omicron with Palpatine, anti-pursuit lasers and enhanced scopes. So let's see how it goes. So Paul decides to have his guys kind of in the middle and kind of spread out. Making their way around the asteroids. Catch the B wing with uh, with no focuses. All right. So he'll take two there. Miranda goes twin laser turret against Marique. First one doesn't go through. Second one goes through. So Marique's going after the B-Wing, and one shield goes there. Oh, because they had the crit. And the gold is out of range. So e is going after, let's see, Marique. So three against four, so nothing goes through. But he does have fire control for the next time. Round. Oh wow, that's barely missing the asteroid, so good move there by side slip. What am I doing? So I do like. Okay, so the bee hits the um, shuttle, so the shuttle won't be able to shoot at him. So that worked out fairly nicely. The A will have a good shot on Marique, as well as Miranda on the outsides. So I just want to see if he's in range of anyone. But I do like how the A and the B are on the inside and the twin laser turrets are just going around the outside. That's a good formation, I think. Oh yeah, Juno moved. So now the gold will have a shot. So Juno... I'm just going to turn off this movie. Um, one hit, two hits, and... Oh, he didn't mean to reroll, so nothing goes through. Oh, but he used the focus. So Miranda's going after Marique, twin laser turret. So first one <laughs> doesn't go through. Second one doesn't go through. There's not much you can do against six natural evades. Yeah, he didn't even have an action. against one against the B-Wing. So a hit and two crits? Oh, because of Palpatine. And one, okay, so two shields and two crits go through. So weapon malfunction and a direct hit. So he doesn't get his attack. So that is pretty Pretty unfortunate for uh, for Paul Heaver. So the gold is going after Juno. So two hits on the first, which gets avoided. Next one is a miss. Yeah, those greens are on fire that round. 
So here we go with the A, three on three against Marik. So two hits will go through. All right. Yeah, Paul saying I really needed the B to not die there. He probably would have been able to finish off Marie. All right, so the shuttle is just moving fast onto the asteroid. A does a K turn. Gold doesn't care about the debris there. Marig's just running away. And Juno does some uh, nice maneuvering. Yeah, avoids the asteroid too. Alright, so I don't know what's going on here. Target lock the Y wing and cluster missiles twice. Oh, okay. So two hits go through, and three more. So that gold is going down fast. So he's going after Juno. So three v three. One first hit goes through. Second hit goes through. No, Palpatine. Saves the day again. So the gold is going after the shuttle. First hit goes through. Second hit goes through. So those twin laser turrets are doing some damage. 2v1 against the shuttle. Nothing goes through. So that round seemed a little bit better for Paul. Except for the cluster missiles that the gold took. Juno now has two stresses from the K-turn and the debris. But with accuracy corrector, that doesn't matter too much. So one hit goes through against the gold. Miranda is able to do twin laser turret against the Emperor. So first hit goes through, second hit goes through. And the gold's going after Juno. So, one shield, and he'll use Palpatine to avoid the next one. And, let's see, the A is going after the shuttle. No, wait. No, he's going after Juno. So, he could have had three on one against the shuttle, or two v four against Juno. And, he is able to get one more on Juno. So we say nice. So yeah, another fairly good round for uh, for Paul, I think. So the gold took a hit from the asteroid. Oh, and he's able to avoid Marik. Oh, but not after the barrel roll, probably. So Juno does accuracy corrector to take out the gold. And Miranda is going after Emperor again. Three hits, so one goes through and another one will go through. So dials. So here it's kind of like three almost dead ships against Miranda is going to be a beast to get through. and. Uh, a is going to be pretty durable too. So I think things are looking pretty good for Paul. So another twin laser turret going for Marik. First one goes through. Second one goes through. So he's able to kill him before he can shoot back. 
and Palpatine doesn't do anything. The A that gets a hit and a crit. And side slip is able to evade it. So twin laser turret. Oh, he gained a shield. So he was able to avoid the first shot, I think. But the second shot, one goes through. And back. Target lock, a hit, and two crits. So the two shields will go down. The A wing will not have anything go through. So Juno is going to 2v3. And so he gets one more hit through. So Miranda loses another shield. Says I should probably punch the shuttle. Okay, so he's going to regen the first shot. So that will go through. Oh, now it will go through because of the asteroid. And then the second one will be avoided. But, okay, target lock, two crits. So he's able to avoid one. And so one more shield goes down. So 3v1 here, one crit goes through, and it's a direct. So the A is able to finish off Palpatine. So things are looking pretty much over, I think, for side slip. And yeah, that's game. So it was a good game. I thought uh, that losing the B, I thought that that would have had a really big impact. But uh, Paul was able to do paper cuts. Those twin laser turrets did a lot of damage that game. So that was fun to watch. Thanks.